Broadway.com. It's Kyle Dean. And Adam Chubb Brat. And Lewis Hobson. And it's Sunday. And it's between shows. Yes. Yep. And I haven't left the theater yet because it's too cold. Loser. Um, we went and got soup. They went and got soup. Um, but we're going to go to Starbucks now. This is kind of a ritual that we're letting you in on. Yeah. So come along. Come on. Here we go. Okay. So before we go outside, I wanted to introduce everybody to... Oh, you haven't introduced her yet? No, never. This, this is, Amanda. is Amanda. She is our... Uh, what would you... She's our... What's your she's position? our security. <laughs> <laughs> she's our, our stage door... Attendant? She stops uh, guardian. like crazy people guardian. Guardian. coming in and Angel. coming back. We come in every day. Um, she's in that. She made she's that. like multi talented. Not she does um, hand embroidery. Yes. She bakes for us all the time. Yes. Oh, so good. And um, <laughs> and right now she's watch. What are you watching right now? Uh, King of Queens. King of Queens. And surfing the internet. Okay, we're going to uh, Starbucks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh my God. Are we gonna make it? We have 11 minutes, which doesn't guarantee that we'll get back in time for half hour. It's true. I've been caught in a line, a 15 minute line over there before. I came in the other day and there were literally, I, I came in right as a line of probably 50 girls came up and went into that Starbucks. <laughs> you know what? Like, Careful! Ah! This is the part of the video where we all get hit by a bus. <laughs> we made it, we're there, yay! Mm, mm, yummy. So wow, looks like we got the dregs of the pastry case today. <laughs> Look at that pastry case. That is the pastry case to behold. There's nothing to be had. Nothing. No low-fat blueberry no. thing. No. So at one time in this Starbucks, there was a woman um, who actually shoplifted. I saw her steal an entire French press, and no one did anything. I used to work at Starbucks, and that happens all the time. You worked at Starbucks? Yeah. Where? 85th and Lex. Oh my god, 84th. People I'm are gonna watch this and be like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I love the Starbucks because they always have so reggae music. So did Anthony Rapp. Always. They always have reggae always music have here? Reggae music here. I've never noticed that. Half Calf Dopio Espresso, which is one. Pot. So, wait a second, what's it called again? A Half Calf Dopio Espresso, which is one shot of caffeinated espresso and one shot of decaffeinated espresso, so that I don't get too crazy tonight. And then, <laughs> then splash of water because that's more liquid. And then a little bit of whole milk and oh. one raw sugar. I just, I just get a plain coffee, is what I get. And sometimes if I'm feeling real adventurous, I'll put a sweet and low in it. What about you, Adam? What'd you get? I get just a plain coffee, and I put a Splenda in it, and then some skim milk, and then I have a secret at the end. What? Hold on. I have to do it at the end. This is from a former employee. Yeah. He like knows all the secrets. I take cinnamon. Yeah. And just get to the nice earthiness. Oh, earthiness. Okay, let's go back to work. Okay, I'm gonna make all, I'm gonna make the guy stand by their huge, enormous photos in front of the theater. Come on, y'all! I want to take some pictures. That's the guy that played the doctor right there. Yeah. I like that one. I like that one. Hey, go stand up by the, the guy that played the boyfriend. Wait until those people come. Wait until what? I want these people to pass. Oh, he doesn't want to be recognized, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. This is where they come and hang out most of the time. <laughs> We all hang out here before the show. Uh -huh. Typically, like before the show. Before know, the show, just, just so that people recognize us. <laughs> so we feel like cool. Oh, see, that's that's the only picture I get. I get a little bitty, teeny, tiny one, and I'm okay with that, you know. Hi, everybody. It's Kyle Dean again. Hey, so tonight um, it's kind of cool because we have sign language interpreters that are signing the whole show. So I thought it might be cool to like go talk to them for a second because they're going to be signing the entire show. It's going to be real cool. All right, so here they are. <laughs> Say hi, y'all. Hi. Hey. So tell me exactly what's, gonna, what's going on. You guys are signing the whole show tonight, right? We sure are. Now, are you going to be playing 
the father role? We have some consistent assignments. The easiest thing to describe is that Dana, Dana. I guess just me, <laughs> is doing is the role Gabe. of Gabe the entire show. So that's one consistent. Cool. Very nice. And I do all the other men, and Candy uh -huh. does all of the women. Now, you guys have had to come watch the show several times to, like, know exactly. You haven't seen We've us up there, come. have you? We've been no, but I've been asking about you because I know you guys come and We wondered if you could see us study up there up. in the corner. Oh, yeah, I have seen you guys have up there. You? Yeah, I have, wondering. actually. <laughs> yes. Wondering. I have seen you up there. Yeah, I just didn't realize it was you because I don't wear my glasses on stage, and I can't see too oh, well. Oh, really? <laughs> well, um, so where are you guys going to be standing? Right down here? Um, so we're going to be able to see you the whole show. Yes. It's going to be hard for me not to watch Please you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys do this for other shows too? Yes. Yeah. This we is just my did. first one. It's That's your first right. one. Broadway. It's your Broadway debut. Broadway debut. Yes. <laughs> we just got through with Jersey Boys. Oh, cool. Jersey Boys. In fact, Candy and I were two of the interpreters. Right, for Jersey Boys. And then before that, Wicked last fall. We just did Wicked. You did Wicked last fall? I wonder if I was there when you guys were. Probably. Mm -hmm. October? You wouldn't have seen us. <clears throat> I'm sure I would. I mean, I've done so many shows with different ones. You were there in October? Yeah. Yeah, I was there in October. I was in the show then. Can we say? Can we just say that I love this show more than anything? I am crazy about this show. I'm oh, so glad thanks. You're interpreting it. It's so beautiful. Thanks. And you're a phenomenal contributor to it. Well, thank you. Fantastic. Well, I'm really excited to uh, catch you guys out of the corner of my eye, <laughs> and uh, excited you guys are going to be bringing the show to a, a new audience tonight. Yes. So that'd be awesome. So what can we do at curtain call to kind of like acknowledge everybody? Turn and say thank you. No. We just say thank you like this. Yes. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right. And say bye you. to everybody. Thank you guys. Bye. 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 So, um, so the signers are doing an awesome job. It's really cool having them there on the front of the stage. And uh, that's it. So, see you next week, all right? Bye.